All right, it's five question Friday, Lancers. Remember, we do this every week to remind you that someday you will be an adult and you'll have a job and responsibilities and that you too uh, will be a success like the people that we bring you. So today's guest is a special guest. Uh, his name is Aaron Lambert. Uh, and I'm gonna guess that Aaron Lambert graduated from Belleville East in 2002. Yep, that's bang on, that's it. All right, good. I got it. Okay, so uh, I've known Aaron because I taught him in sixth grade. I believe it was my first year teaching, uh, and so I was lucky. I mean, some of the kids in his class were amazing. They were unbelievably fun, uh, and Aaron was a great student. So, Aaron, why don't you tell us, like, uh, you know, what are you doing now, and how did you get to where you're at now? Sure. Um, I currently live in London in the United Kingdom. Um, I've lived here for nearly 10 years. Um, now, um, and I am an actor. I work in the West End. I'm in Hamilton in London. Um, I've been in the show for uh, two years, two and a half years now, before we kind of went dark because of COVID. Um, but we're coming back. We're coming back. Um, um, but yeah, so what kind of brought me here? I finished uh, at East in 2002, and then I went to Yale University in New Haven, Connecticut, and I finished there in 2006. Um, I then went on to work in the New York area for a bit. Um, I did my undergrad degree in liberal arts. So um, after I spent a couple years in New York doing little bits of shows, I decided like if I'm gonna be an actor, I need to kind of double down on this and go back and train. So I got a master's degree from the Royal Scottish Academy of Music and Drama in Glasgow, Scotland. And that's kind of what put me in the UK. And I was going to move back to New York, but ended up getting an agent in London and then moved down here and booked a big job and then kind of have been snowballing here since and kind of built a life in in London since. And I've been working ever since. That's amazing. That's incredible. So did you ever have a point, whether you whenever you were at Yale or whenever you went to Glasgow, did you ever have a point where you were like, my goodness, like this is happening to me? Like, what's going on? Um. Yes and no. Like I don't I don't feel like there was ever like a moment when like the penny drops, but like I I did feel that, you know, I was doing something kind of extraordinary, you know, something that was kind of off the beaten path. And there's there was an excitement in that. Um, you know, in, in kind of taking a risk and doing something that kind of wasn't wasn't as as clear cut of a path to success as as people might hope to find. Um, so there's an excitement in that. Um, but I guess I guess if there was like a moment where I was like, wow, I've all these kind of risks have paid off and all this kind of hard work has paid off. It's kind of, I think it was when I booked my first like big West End job. Um, I did Sister Act at the Palladium and um, that was kind of like, okay, I made these choices and I did these things that kind of enri have enriched me in a lot of different ways, um, but it's kind of led me to where I, I wanted to be and it's not, exactly how I saw things, but it's actually kind of more fulfilling because it's so. Awesome. That's amazing. Faith in yourself, belief in yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's absolutely. That's amazing. Yeah. Uh, so what do you what roles do you play in Hamilton? So in Hamilton, I am um, a principal standby, which means you're not on every night, but you cover some of the main roles. So I cover four of the main roles. I cover Aaron Burr. I cover George Washington. I cover um, uh, Mulligan Madison and I cover King George. So I've played all four roles at some wow. point. And yeah, I kind of on the day you find out what role you're on for. So do you ever, do you ever just, you're just walking around your house and you, what, what song always, do you always sing in your head from Hamilton? There's gotta be something, I mean, right? I mean, uh, there, a lot of them are very catchy. I mean, Room Where It Happens is a very catchy song that like when I was learning it, I could not, <laughs> stop just like humming it around the house you know um but uh, yeah i mean it's it's all it's all pretty catchy stuff yeah do you ever get to a, a point where you're things. like do you ever get to a point where you're like i gotta stop singing this song in my head it's driving me crazy i mean yeah yeah often often yeah, <laughs> that definitely great. happens that's that great. definitely happens it's yeah uh okay so here we go five question friday okay. uh what is your favorite memory of being at bava least Ooh. okay um my favorite memory, I think it was senior year, um, the senior year musical, we did a funny thing happen on the way to the forum. And it was kind of like when 
B100. Is that what the old theater was called? B100? Yeah, B100. B100 was but, being yeah. like it closed down. They were building the new theater. So we didn't have a theater. And it kind of was, you know, it, it, it felt like we kind of didn't get as much out of our senior year musical as as other classes. But then they kind of did a purpose built production in in the gym and it ended up being like the best experience. So I guess that that memory sticks with me. That's amazing. So the students now B100 is the counseling office. And then right. it, it became like a, uh, there was a couple computer labs, but that's all just been converted. Like over the summer, they changed a bunch of that stuff. So oh, yeah, they changed it again. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Uh, okay. So what has been the, your main component to success? What, what has been the one thing all the way through that's been your main component to being successful? I think um, being, being true to kind of me and what I think and what I believe and kind of what I want. Um, I, I find that oftentimes it's, it's so easy to kind of try to project a version of yourself that you want people to, to see and kind of what you expect that they expect from you. Um, and sometimes that, that leads to, you know, authenticity and then you don't really connect. So I, I, I feel like um, just being authentic with with my own wants, desires and goals has been um, the kind of the kind of thing that if I focus on that, I kind of could get through any situation. That's awesome. Uh, OK, uh, next question. TikTok, Snapchat or Facebook or Instagram? Oh, gosh. Um, oh, gosh. Um, yeah. So I'm old. Um, <laughs> uh, I do, I'm not on TikTok. Um, I'm not on Snapchat. <laughs> um, I'm on Instagram, but I don't use it often. So I guess it's got to be Facebook because that's the one that people in my generation tend to use a bit more. Um, yeah. But I'm, I, I kind of use Facebook to keep in touch with people back home and then the other platforms to kind of promote myself professionally. Yeah. OK, so people are back home like your teachers from back in the day. Right? Exactly. Because yeah. that is how this happened. That's right. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, OK, so outside of your family, who would you say was your most important mentor, role model, most influential person in your life outside of your fantastic parents and your brother? Who, who would that be? Mm. Um, there, are, there are a lot to choose from, I think, because I think I've had a, a lot of people that have come to my life that have affected me in positive ways. But I guess someone that's kind of been with me through my entire adult life um, isn't someone who was necessarily a mentor, but the, my freshman year roommate at, at college, is, we were randomly assigned and he's like been my best friend ever since. And we both have kind of carved out unique paths professionally. And um, I think kind of having a kindred spirit in that in that manner and in that, in that way has been really useful and um, and vital, you know, to, to 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 moments when you really need that support. So, yeah, I would probably say my freshman year roommate. Wow. So the juniors that are watching this, that's going to be you, you guys in two years. Or you might that same thing might happen to you. Where was he from? What? Um, he's from Sacramento, California. Um, <laughs> yeah, I li literally randomly assigned you know yeah. and and we're, we're just like we're so different but also so alike and he's very supportive um of what i do and vice versa and yeah he's 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 a good egg all right so uh, who is your celebrity crush this is your final question like who what celebrity do you have that you're like this person's amazing totally admire this person or it's a crush like who would that be oh oh ooh. ah okay well i mean i mean because of what I do, like, I think people I admire a lot are within my field. So I guess if I had to, like, name someone professionally that I admire quite a bit and I kind of look up to and is Audra McDonald. She's um, a Broadway actress. She does a lot of TV as well now. Um, but she's, um, she's also Black and um, she's kind of paved the way for kind of what a Black performer has doesn't have to be um she's kind of not your stereotypical black performer she's a soprano she trained in opera um um she's she went to juilliard um but she's you know she's not the stereotype of what you know audiences or gatekeepers in um the performing arts kind of expects a quote-unquote black person to be so um she's aspirational she's also won like six tonys so she's also very 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 talented
That's amazing. That's awesome. Uh, okay, so as we finish, uh, a couple yes. things. So, like, what advice would you give to uh, Lancers right now that are watching this? What would you tell them? Um, I would say, I guess along the similar lines of what we spoke about before, I would say, you know, broaden your your kind of, your kind of outlook as to what you can achieve and what your life can be. Um, it's a, you know, a big country, it's a big world and, you know, nothing's out of reach, especially, you know, in this kind of global world we live in now, like you, you can connect to just about anyone and you can go just about anywhere when COVID's done. Um, so, <laughs> <laughs> so like, I would just say like broaden your horizons and, you know, don't, don't be afraid to, to think a little bit out of the box and, and if something seems like it's too too far of a reach away or too big, um, I challenge you um, to change your outlook because I don't think anything is too big. Fantastic. All right. So I finish my class every Friday in person with a saying yeah. where I say, stand up for what you believe in. And the class says, even if you're standing alone. So that's how we'll finish here. Okay. Right? So I say, stand up for what you believe in even if you're standing alone. There you go. Thank you, Aaron Lambert. You're welcome.